I think with the advent of immunotherapy in oncology in general, but particularly in hepatocellular carcinoma, um, there's renewed interest in really identifying those patients most likely to respond and um, we'll be following lead from many other tumor types and trying to figure out what are the markers that can tell us which patients are likely to respond to immunotherapy. Um, in lung and melanoma, we have certain clues about types of mutations or patterns of mutation and in um, other types of GI cancers, we know that microsatellite instability or high mutation burden might be a predictive biomarker. Um, those may not be applicable to HCC. We don't usually see microsatellite instability in, a, in very many patients. That's very rare in HCC. But mutation burden is, um, while not particularly high in HCC on average, it may be something relevant to help help flush out which subsets of patients are likely to respond, as well as tumor expression of particular immune proteins like PDL1 and other checkpoint inhibitor ligands or receptors. Um, so far though, the work is really early and we just don't have um, a lot of data. From the Checkmate 40 trial, PDL1 tumor expression didn't seem to predict those patients more or less likely to respond, meaning that people whose tumors express PDL1 could respond to immunotherapy in similar proportions as those who did not. So it was not a marker that distinctly confirmed which patients were responders and non-responders.